1859, Titusville, Pennsylvania became the birthplace of the oil industry when a successful well was sunk by Edwin Drake near Oil Creek. Throughout this area of western Pennsylvania, you'll find a number of remains of the oil boom days, along with some still producing wells. There's so much to see and enjoy in the region that we took both a wintertime trip with our Mazda CX-9 and a summertime trip with our Ford F-250 to check out the sites. At the Drake Well Museum, displays of vintage exploration, drilling, and pumping equipment spread through a park along Oil Creek. Videotape and other informational presentations detail the history of the industry and the area, and hiking and biking trails connect the museum grounds to nearby Oil Creek State Park. The Oil Creek and Titusville Railroad offers scenic excursions aboard historic trains, further detailing the oil boom times in the surrounding areas, and you can even stay in a hotel made up of old rail cars. Franklin grew into a city during the oil fever of the 1860s, and today its well-preserved downtown area is lined with ornate buildings that offer you a step back in time via walking tours, along with various events and festivals throughout the year. Oil City, as you can probably guess by the name, is another town that grew up with the boom and it also offers a good number of historic buildings and reminders of the black gold that was so important to its development. Near Pleasantville, the site of Pithole City is a reminder that often whole towns went bust when the oil was depleted. In September 1865, the population here had swelled to 15,000, but by the end of the following year, only 2,000 people remained, and shortly thereafter, it was completely abandoned. Today, plaques along the grassy outlines of the former streets mark the locations of many of the businesses and homes that once stood here. Various displays and a visitor center further tell the tale of the rise and fall of Pithole City. The forests, hills, rivers, and creeks that define this portion of Pennsylvania make for a year-round outdoor playground. Our all-wheel drive Mazda CX-9 was sure-footed and right at home on the snowy, muddy roads that we encountered in the winter. And it eagerly carved up the hilly, curving roads when we found dry pavement. The CX-9's spacious interior kept us warm, dry, and comfortable during our explorations, and the 3.7-liter V6 under the hood provided plenty of power while returning just under 20 miles to the gallon on our trip. No snow for us in our travels with the four-wheel drive Ford F-250, but it showed itself to be solid and secure on the forest trails and impressively agile on the winding roads of the region. The Ford's diesel showed hill flattening power and averaged just over 18 miles to the gallon on our tour of the region. Space and comfort were in abundant supply for drivers and all passengers inside the F-250's well-equipped cabin. No matter what you're driving, a look at some of the oil industry's history in western Pennsylvania and a sample of the area's summer and winter outdoor activities are definitely worth your while.